Local state Senator Gary Simplin is in legal trouble again tonight. Yeah, this time he's accused of breaking state election laws. West 2's political reporter Greg Fox is here with us live to explain. And Greg, what agency is leveling these charges against the lawmaker? Well, they come from the Florida Elections Commission, but this case began with the local state attorney's office. Simplin is accused of accepting an illegal campaign contribution and not providing records proving how he spent thousands of dollars. State Senator Gary Siplin is facing allegations about how he raised and spent money in 2008. His wife, Victoria Pierre Siplin, told me her husband was too busy to talk with us at his law office. And at his district office, we were ordered out. Can I ask her? Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Private property. The Florida Elections Commission order shows probable cause that Siplin broke laws at least eight times in 2008, claiming he has no reasonable explanation for spending 13,000 campaign dollars allegedly on poll worker salaries. He's accused of falsely or deliberately failing to report their names and addresses and accused of taking an illegal campaign contribution. He received money amounting to double the maximum allowable contribution from the same Florida company. Talk about what? The Elections Commission complaint. When we caught up with Siplin, he declined to talk with me on camera, referring questions to his attorney. Senator, would you say there's no grounds for that Ethics Commission complaint? He's been in legal trouble before, shown here in 2006 when he was convicted for grand theft for having state workers campaign for him on taxpayer time. That conviction was overturned on appeal. The state attorney's office decided not to file criminal charges in this latest case, but a spokesman told West 2 News, quote, the investigation raised concerns about unaccounted for cash and where it might have gone. The senator could face thousands of dollars in fines. Siplin referred our questions to his attorney, but my call was not returned. Siplin's wife has already filed paperwork to run for her husband's Senate seat when his term expires next year.